This project is an RFID access control system that links the Arduino board to a server to retrieve data from a database. The management of the access control is done using a web platform hardcoded in HTML5 along with PHP. I will further explain how everything works later on. For this project I have used an Ethernet shield, an Arduino Mega, an RFID kit, an LCD display that uses I2C communication, which means it gets rid of all these pins and uses only 4 pins instead. A simple push button to alternate between the admin mode and the client mode, which I will further explain later. And finally, our RFID cards. Before we start digging any deeper, please take a moment and subscribe if you haven't already, because I upload videos like these every week, so let's get started. So the project consists of an access control to a restaurant. Basically, if a card holder has one or more meals in his card, he can enter. If not, he has to recharge his card using the administration panel. The Arduino code is written in a way that when a card is scanned, a request is sent to the server with that card's ID. The PHP code then will query the database and will give back a response to the Arduino. It will give back either one of two responses, if the card does not exist at all in the database, or it will return the number of meals left for that card. And according to that response, the display on the LCD will change. Now let's take these two cards to work with. The blue card has a few meals left in it, and the white card does not exist in the database. So if you try it, the response as you see, that the card does not exist. If we use the other card however, it will tell you how many meals you still have in it. So let's see what happens if we swipe it until it has none anymore. Obviously the number will keep decreasing until you finally get to zero. That's when it displays the message, this is your last meal, please recharge. So the next time you swipe it, it will tell you you cannot go in anymore and it will keep saying that every time you swipe. Now let's take a look at the admin part and how we can refill our card and also how we can add unexisting cards to the system. So if we swipe the white card again, just like the last time it will say that the card does not exist. So let's go in admin mode using this button. As you see the capital A in the corner popped up, which means the admin mode is now activated. The admin mode is supposed to be used with another Arduino board separated from this one. What it basically does is that when a card is swiped here, it tells the admin panel I want to work on this card from now on. Either add meals to it using the platform or delete it or whatever. So instead of using two separate Arduino boards, I just use the button to alternate between the admin mode and the client mode. So now that we are in the admin mode, let's swipe the white card to work with it. And let's head over to our interface. As soon as you log in, you will be met with the number of the card that you just swiped and it says that it's not recognized by the system. So if we go ahead and click on add card, our card will be added to the system. As you see the card has zero meals, so if you try and swipe it, it will tell you that it has no meals left, which means that the card was inserted into the database successfully. Now let's add 10 meals to it and swipe again to see what happens. Now it tells you that you have 9 meals left, which means it has decreased one of the 10 added meals. And if we go ahead and refresh our web page, it will tell you that you have 9 meals left after swiping. So now let's go back to the administrator mode to give more meals to the blue card, which we emptied earlier. So we click on the button, we swipe our card, and then we go back to the platform. If we go ahead and refresh the page, the new ID of the blue card will appear with zero meals left. Let's say we give it 20 meals and try to swipe it. It should of course display 19 meals left because it only decreased one from the 20 meals. Now we have two working cards. One has, one has 19 meals, the other has 9 meals and you get the story. Every time you swipe one, it decreases from its amount. So it's as simple as that. So let's say we want to delete the blue card. I already have it in use on my platform. So I only need to click on delete and that's it. Now if you swipe it again, it will say the card does not exist. I also took into consideration that errors might take place. And one of them is when the server is down. So when you swipe a card, you might get an error which is error 3 server connection failed. Or if the ethernet cable is removed, you will get another error, which is error number 2. But if everything is working just fine, it will tell you that an IP address has been assigned by the DHCP and you can swipe your card now. 
So this is it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope it was useful to you. If it did, make sure you hit that subscribe button for more videos like this. And see you in the next time.